Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I was hoping we didn't make the playoffs because it's just like, you know, there wasn't really anything going for us. It was like, ah, I would just be prolonging the season a little bit longer. So, uh, next season, the, uh, I should be a better team, I would think, with the draft stock that we're, we've got or, you know, the picks. We got three second round picks. It's pretty good. Um, hey, Dean Kong79. Thank you for the follow. Uh, I will open up the betting. Uh, which list do you want to talk about here, Ben? Um, I will take the other one. Um, I'd love to talk first order because. Cool. All right. I'll do separatist first, order. first, and then we can move over to Shively's uh, first order list. So, Crispy, right. he's rocking. Uh, we've got Sun Fak back out here yet again. We've been seeing a little bit of him before the points change and at five points with a lot of other things going down. This ace is going from six to five in a lot of cases. We'll probably see more of him. So, Sun Fak. He's rocking Gravitic Deflection, which basically allows to give you a defensive reroll if there's a jammed ship. Uh, While well, you defend reroll for each, or sorry, not jammed, tractored ship, apologies. Uh, that is in the attack arc. Okay, so it's like an elusive, but dependent on a tractored ship in the attack arc. Uh, he's also got uh, Ensnare, of course, and Targeting Computer. And then we've got Dirge, Proton Cannons, Contraband, Cybernetic, Xandu Blood Title. Seismic charges. Volan Das, still great. I5, uh, humanoid in that Tri Fighter, that uh, four pointer with Predator and Shield upgrade. DIS in the Tri Fighter as well, without maneuver, afterburns. And contingency protocol, I believe. Is this the one that gets the strain deplete rerolls? It is. So that he, this one dropped down points as well, because I remember that being five or six points before. I can't recall, but it was definitely more expensive. Four yeah, points. It's a crispy staple, actually. Like yeah. he, he loves this particular um, yeah. tri fighter. It's really good. And at four points, I mean, that's uh, the only thing that's I think really balancing it out is the I four. I would I would think. Um, and then we've got DGS zero four seven three point Roomba out there. The uh, the HMP gunship. It took me a second because I, I forgot the name of it because it's been a while. Uh, I don't see them. I hadn't seen them that often with Hondo and stabilizers. So that is Crispy's separatist list. Uh, why don't you take it away here with the uh, first order? Um, rocking, sure rocked by Michael Shively. Also, shout out to uh, to Greg Cashmanian uh, looking out for my uh, my sleep schedule. He consistently tells me to go to bed anytime I do something X-Wing related. And honestly, most of the time, it's a good idea. So thank you, Greg. Also, a quick shout out to AMG, who, you know, have had some decisions that have been controversial, et cetera, over the last couple of years. But they fixed the heck out of the Nantex fighter. And the Nantex is an actually pretty wholesome spot now. Like, it's a bummer for, like, quad jumpers and other ships that wanted to do nastier things with, uh, with Tractor. But the fact that the... Sun fact is playable and no one's upset about the fact that he's playable is a minor victory in and of itself. Is that an AMG like the the errata? Like genuine question. Was that an errata that FFG did right before the changeover, I thought? The fully execute thing to or partially to fully, or is that an AMG errata? I thought that was an AMG errata. Okay. It was definitely a long time ago now, and JMG has been handling the game for a while, so I'm curious if the chat knows, but either way, uh I would agree with at least the second half of that, where they're more playable and less terrifying and frustrating and op and all of the things that we were complaining about for sure and now i would love to talk about the first order list yeah let's do it sorry about my story all right so uh at the the top of the ticket we have major von reg who i started putting on the table in the last month or so he's he's really great deuterium power cells is a super wholesome six point regen card and also lets you shed a tractor for example or an ion token in exchange for a stress if need be uh, many people do not leave home without Daredevil because Major Von Reg gets infinite time on target with it, more or less, in Lone Wolf, uh, now that it's come down to three points. A great, great pick for any intended flanker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next up, everyone's favorite quick shooting. Uh, Wait, drop. SF. Yeah, we have a fanatical proud tradition, which I'm, I'm always... They seem to non-bow, but it does give you great redundancy in terms of your, your ability to have mods, agitarian power cells, because why um Interesting. why only yeah, why only double tap a maximum of three times when you can double tap a maximum of five times? Seems good. 
Yeah. And uh, now that it's come down to six points, it can fit on a lot more things. We have fire control system for the, the classic consistent mods. I really, really like this quick draw setup and I'm excited to see it in action. Yeah, the proud tradition. Um, I guess we don't see, we don't see this, the classic uh, pattern analyzer proud tradition thing. At least that's, that's good. Cause I think that was a little too easy to get double mods as you know, just it was a, the, the great wombo combo. Now just a little different, but still a very strong build for sure. Next up, we have Silencer, not Silencer, Whisper Kylo, who has come down to a slim five points. Yeah, slim now, indeed. You're losing Malice and you're losing an, uh, a, a talent off of the uh, the classic Wylo build, but it's still really excellent. You're still jamming at high initiative. Uh, the Pattern Analyzer Concussion Missile combo really gives you more flexibility in turning around and keeping your, your threat level high. Um, yeah, always a threat. I, I love Silencer kylo very very much so i actually haven't played as much with wylo but man wylo is, is always a terror and then blackout i like the setup i think that at 12 points of loadout the the lean blackout is a lot more interesting i think that there's going to be more variety and once he's playing on them i've been running uh fanatical optics sensor scramblers which is the unstapled on i guess that's the one thing that won't have much variety yeah. uh, with like ion tour so I, I really like this setup too prime thrusters is a great pick for any silencer it keeps you moving no matter what happens and when you're moving at initiative five then that's a great way to stay out of art or you could do the whole uh you could do the focus barrel roll boost focus boost barrel roll all in one. Oh yeah yeah always feels good that's pretty good the first that time he did good. that against me, I was like, wait, you can do that? He's like, yeah, because Prime Thrusters and linking after you do an action, I'm like, damn it, you're right. But it's just like so good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. It makes you feel invincible. You're like, oh, I can just, just do I can whatever just I do want. Do whatever I want. Exactly. As we are just started moving here, uh, I know we checked range before we started moving. And I'm wondering who that was for. There was like a it was like a range two check right. on uh crispy side is it is it a coordinate here is dgs what does dgs do oh yeah it was must have been a hondo thing yeah i think hondo was okay uh, so it was a range yeah. three check got it yeah coordinate range three uh good i would say i got some smooth jazz playing let me know if you guys can't hear it very well it should be loud enough but you know good for the background here but I'd go with a little smooth jazz. And cheers, whatever you guys are drinking. I have actually have caffeine right now. I have spoken. Mm. My one of my many trusted Star Wars mugs here. In my old age, the local co-op has a uh, it's a cucumber lemonade. And uh, when I'm feeling extra old, I don't know, maybe sprinkle in some gin, and you got you got something going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, Dude, spiking yeah, things with gin, I definitely thing, recommend. Yeah. I when, when you turn like 32, you suddenly develop a taste for gin. I don't know what genetics are playing. Oh, that, I, I like gin. My dad's a gin guy, so I think it's either you turn 32 or your parents, or we were indoctrinated into liking gin. I think there isn't really an in between, though. It's interesting when I mentioned like the music, some people are like, I can't really hear it. Other people are like, I can hear it. And then when I go back and like listen to the recording, when I edit it to upload to YouTube, it's very prominent. So you, there is a volume switch on Twitch or on your headphones. I recommend turning that up. I do want to make sure it's not too loud or too quiet for you guys, but I get conflicting feedback and then I watch it back. I'm like, well, that was loud. <laughs> so we got a little bit of a joust here. Sun Fak is coming in. Uh, you can't, you can't, you can only boost straight with a uh, tractor. Sometimes you wish you could, that would be so busted if you could do the curved boost. Whew. Do I have different soundtracks for VOD and for live? I don't have that set up right now. No, it's everything that's here yeah. is in the VOD or in the VOD recording. Just to say the real kicker is the, uh, the force rotate. So he's got the, the bullseye lined up. Yeah. Yep. Thankfully yeah, for him. But. Got out of arc too. I mean, to probably take a range three shot from uh, blackout, but that's focus evade. Uh, you should be okay. <laughs> yeah, but you can't pass off that tractor to. Uh, no, cannot. To yep. Kylo right now, which she would really, really like to do. That is true. And then we have a little bit of a different dogfight at the bottom of the board here as uh, DIS and Von Rager squaring off. 
DIS was the, the recipient of the Hondo Jam, as you can see that token down there. Happy Sunday, Nick. Thanks, Josh. I have Josh turned fired up here behind me. The uh, ATAT is all powered up. Greg, can you hear the music okay? Like when moments like this, when it's we're quiet. I do like this jazz though. It's very calming. I could use it after watching the Cubs get swept by the Reds. <laughs> Hey, don't mind me. I'm just doing filthy things to a burger right now. No, oh, you're good. What, what burger? Did you make it yourself or did you get it from someplace? I did not. I got it from out. It's like a mushroom gorgonzola. Damn. Cheddar. I don't know. It's, it's got a bunch on it, but it's amazing. First shot, nothing. There's Von Reg now. Range three into DIS. For a hit crit. Not quite having bullseye is, uh, is a toughie there. Mm, plenty of evades. Got the two. Yeah. But obviously, the uh, tripeter dial is pretty good, but just having like, having to do the blue maneuver is is not ideal, especially with the tri-fighters uh, not having uh, the blue banks. Yeah, they have all... I don't know if the one hard is blue, but they have the two and the three hard, and they can go as fast as they want. Uh, it's like it's not super versatile but it's like the you know the uh, vultures but on steroids when it comes to the blues yeah they're really fun I, I've dabbled around with uh, some tri-fighter swarms after seeing Crispy oh, that do it was an arc. Thinking, oh that seems fun oh yeah uh, that the, I was oh, surprised to see that that there. was an arc yeah you did it was it, wow. by a bit too here's a range 3 shot there was no damage but had to spend the focus and a whole lot of like blank in two results so far, which isn't going to get the job done at distance. And we spent the evade and we're, we're safe. Jazz to fill an awkward silence. Yeah, I'm hearing that it's just loud enough, which is good. Yeah, you don't want the jazz to be overpowering. I'm at a, it's at 11 percent right now in the mixer. We'll keep it to that. And you got to talk with your golf voice as we're doing a little jazz. So this is the reroll DIS taking that deplete token. And Von Reg taking a shield. Gets home. I remember the first iteration of 2.5 came out. God bless our souls. We don't have to deal with that anymore. But, you know, always a, a first iteration is never going to be smooth sailing. It's going to be always things to change. Uh, but Von Reg, like Invader and Luke, they were all slap and shield upgrade, like willy nilly, you know? Uh, whole upgrade. Whole, whole, whole land shield upgrade, yeah. So you had like a three hole, three shield Von Reg, and they're like, why would I bother shooting at that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a pretty big fan of this latest points pass so far. Yeah. Like even Daredevil to five and like extreme maneuvers to eight. It's aggressive for pass. interesting that the it doesn't I, I think people predicted that maybe they they would decrease the average ship count on the board by one. Um I don't think that's changing. In fact, maybe we'll see it go up by one if anything stay the same. But the upgrade bloat is something that I'm a fan of uh, decreasing. I, you know, being able to fit your cards on the board. I remember we had yeah. used to have to to span the entire TTS board to see someone's list. I mean, that was pretty silly. So, yeah, it was ridiculous. I I, I think that's good. <laughs> I'm someone on record as being a huge fan of 2.0, especially the most recent ba balance iteration. But there's something to be said that from a business standpoint, having very good balance is not actually that that great yeah and by 2.0 like you do you mean like actual 2.0 or the version of 2.0 we're playing now i know it's kind of confusing the uh the the non 2.5 2.0 gotcha yeah because like I, objectively ffg was not doing hot on like the business model sales yeah. standpoint like there were, there were I, a lot of things that were not it's all relative right because i think they were right there in the same boat with everything else that was struggling and because yeah. of the margins and the licensing costs the disney the mouse it's difficult for sure um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of slandering 2.0. It's definitely, you know, in the past, we're not playing it anymore. But I really thought it was in a pretty good space, as, as you said, when it uh, switched over. I, I enjoyed the hell out of it. And, you know, more X-Wing, different X-Wing, whatever. I'll take it. Yeah. Here we are. And I do think that being able to run, like, four loaded aces or, like, five to six ships with a decent amount of loadout, I mean, that's, that, that's fun. I, I know 
I know Catherine is not the biggest fan of like number of cards on the table and like the fact that everything is on steroids, I think is how she usually puts it. She's absolutely correct. But I do think it's more likely to get someone to go out and like buy their favorite ship. They like are like, oh, I can do this fun thing with, with this pilot that I like versus yeah, I can sometimes cram enough fun things onto the ship to fit the other things that I want to have in my list. I don't know. Like, I really liked 2.0, but I see what they're going for here. And, like, it's cool to see Tri-Fighters on the field again. Tri-Fighters oh, yeah. never saw the field in 2.0. They just they just really didn't. No, I mean, everything you're saying, I agree with. Uh, I I think Catherine's, like, in a, it, a very relatable position for a lot of players where they're, like, still playing, you know, not in love with the current version, but... Um, half of the half of the battle for keeping continuing to play is the community and Catherine's been a big part of it for a long time so yeah. and still wins games it's, that's the thing is that it's yeah, like one thing that. if like she just like was like losing all the time because of the changes but Catherine still like kicks people's ass all the time so. yeah still never bet against Catherine she's like well this yeah. isn't my favorite anymore but I'm still going to win FYI right I'm trying to pull up let's see uh, Discord, Discord here on the back end so really quick, guys, and this is going to be slightly in the way. Let me bring I have to bring it up towards the top. There we go. And I'll make it smaller for you all. But scene in the wild on our got to go to our X-wing hollow nets. In the wild, we got our a couple of our at our store. Some of the core sets a couple days early. See the picture there, got Rebels and uh, Empire, which is pretty nifty. So the the new core sets are, I think, uh, retail seventy five bucks. Four ships, average is like twenty seven dollars for a small base expansion. Um, so not bad. I mean, honestly, that's a decent deal. Uh, it doesn't say that it includes scenario components, but I would be surprised if it didn't. It just says it includes all the cardboard punch boards, so I would imagine that scenario objective tokens are a part of that. Catherine's like, are you all talking shit? <laughs> You're reading my name a lot, yeah. It has nothing to do with that game that I played against you, Catherine. One of the many Forsaken games of season three that I played. <laughs> oh, man. That was a season for sure. I wasn't paying close enough attention. Did we have a, a Von Rag regen there? We did not. Uh, no, we it's didn't. Aggressive. These guys are actually going to have to pay very, very close attention only because they're playing so fast. I mean, yeah. the i6 is already done moving. Yeah, so Quick Draw is getting a freebie shot here, but it's not a super duper high quality shot. Um, we see the uh, ensnare, though, at the top here. Yeah. Now, the interesting wrinkle with the new tractor, tractor rules is, of course, Blackout, especially being Prime Thrusters, Blackout can opt to take the stress to rotate if moved, but it does oh, land true. you double stress. Yeah, I'm a little surprised that we didn't see a um, a lock out of Kylo on the turnaround there. Did I miss a trigger? Should there be a, a stress there on Kylo? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, he did he did flip around. Just don't see how he wouldn't be stressed. So we'll just give it a sec. Oh, did he? Did he focus jam jammed off the. Focus. Okay, that's what um, it was. How did he get himself turned around though, like that, without a stress? Yeah, I think there should have been a stress there. So we got uh, Volan taking uh, two damage shield in the damage card, and here's that range one. That's pretty good. Two hits and a crit here into a tractor. Rolls double evades. Oh, just a shield. Blackout there. And importantly, keeps the focus for the uh, offensive shot. Range one back. Has There is an evade there with Sunfac. Two hits 
You know, I have all spending to focus for three. And Sun Fax spends evade, does take one. There we there we see there we see it. Instinct of aim. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Yep. This is a scary shot and Rometic deflection. Reroll hoping for that evade. Gets the there extra evade there. Taking a crit. Not gonna die here. Two crits now. This is damage sensor eight and disabled power regulator. Neither one of those have. things are something Sunfac wants. Nope. I would say yes, yeah, Sunfac is the one of the aces that pretty much any crit is pretty crippling for him, I would say. All but like one. Well, he can't do um he can't do his turret stuff with the, the damage sensor, right? Yep. Exactly. That is an action. And that'll be ionized. I mean, that's... Yeah, I gotta hope for a good trade here. Yeah, only focus actions with damage sensor array. And then disable power regulator before you engage. Gain an ion token. After you execute an ion maneuver, repair. Ooh. And now we got a lot of damage as blackouts taking yes, two. Yes, we do damage cards face up there it is a stun pilot and a fuel leak so another crit goes through and blackout and that will finish him off yeah well dirge and the hmp are both in a pretty good spot to oh i know i keep forgetting how slide slip works hmp isn't doing anything blackout next turn but... poor sun fact yeah it. i don't know if i'll ever get used to agreeing with that statement <laughs> poor sun fact <laughs> So three I to one, the, crispy objectives. I, I think a hard turn left might be a reasonable move for Sunfac here, just because it, it should bar anything but like one haunted shot at him. Yeah. Sorry, guys, on the back end, it was set to chance engagement for half points. I, I changed that. I'm doing something different with the uh, overlay. As you can see, I have the, the round counter beneath the timer, and then I'm using an icon for the scenario trying to consolidate information on screen. So I'll show you guys real quick. That is for assault. And then we have, this is chance engagement, the target lock or crosshair icon, scramble is a little jam icon. And then salvage is pretty clear. It's a crate, so yeah. Blackout or so blank out, true. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Ben. Interrupted you. Uh, I was just going to say that this is one of the scenarios where obviously Volandas is great, but if you're running with um, the IST-81, I do wonder if like one of the, the FLAC, RFAC, however you pronounce that, prototypes would be a good choice for the list as well. And they've been errated, right? Isn't that the, the one that the, was like they, revealing dials? Was that the FLAC? They got replaced by the, the Siege of Coruscant version. Oh, uh, okay. And that plays off of um, DIS's thing. You get the uh, the the loadout on them is like afterburners. Um, you can, if you're near an objective or near an obstacle, you can do the. That's right. I remember barrel, that. Uh, yeah, barrel roll into evade and make it white. They get to calculate if something's in their bullseye. It's, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it's like having network calculations is just is really excellent. Are they Obviously, still four points or are they three now? Yeah. Yeah, therefore the um, okay. the ban list ones are, are three points because AMG has decided to turn extended into full chaos, and I'm here for yeah. it. But so speaking of Atomic Mass Games, we have our interview set with Atomic Mass Games for the 16th of uh, June, um, and it will be pre-recorded. I'm just going to be edited and of course sent to them just so that we're all on the same page. And then once I once it's approved and you know reviewed and all that good stuff, I'm going to debut it here on Twitch. We can watch the interview together and then it'll post on YouTube probably a week later. So I just want to give you all a heads up that probably by end of June or like the first week or two of July, that will be something um, to keep an eye out for a full length interview with Will Schick and um, Chris Plummer. So, yeah, oh, that's awesome, dude. Hell yeah. Uh Oh, we got a we got a DC from uh michael pause the timer yeah off. first orders is rage quitting out after uh, yeah, right. or blank out took uh two crits there they have 55 minutes not 45. 
Yeah, I would too, for sure. Just get some 56 minutes. I do have some uh, some fear for the uh, tri fighters down here, though. They've got Von Reg uncontested on their on their flank. Not a whole lot they can do about it. Not in any kind of position to punish quick draw. I don't know if you try to to fight. And they're both I six, so you're high risk of getting initiative killed. I think you almost have to bail, but DIS doesn't have to five straight out of the rock there and in Volan Das obviously doesn't have a, a great bailout position either maybe three bank yeah Focus Von Rigg is away. very I think very pleased with uh yeah. well, he is where he wants to be that is where someone like Von Rigg would would like to be is right behind you threatening you yeah. um there's a lot of pressure on, on Michael for sure yeah, um, he's in the murder zone I, I don't I just don't think you can do anything to contest either yeah uh, I mean, kill get Sun Fak out of there. He's, he's he's crippled right now. He's not able to do as much. He'll be ionized, so uh, that'll get you those five points. And then if you can just get one or two scenario points, you'll keep pace. We'll see. Yeah. Um, Sandy was asking, can we ask questions for AMG? We uh, so shout out to Pim, uh, Pim uh, and I worked together on writing the questions, and then we had them approved by AMG. So. They're they're about everything. Uh, they're also we're also talking about the design process and you know their favorite parts of the game because I feel like people don't really associate these guys with being human beings, and I want to try to do a little <laughs> bit better of a job uh, representing them in that way. So, uh, oh, ooh, nice coordinate fix of the damage sensor array that'll help a lot. Yeah. Rondo. Oh, that's nifty. I like that. And I think asking for three point fangs is probably a little too too much, especially one that uh, double taps. Maybe maybe like someone like like Tor Fun, with like almost no loadout could be three points, but maybe Bodica Bodica no, absolutely not. Come on. The platform itself is so good. I know um I know Cam has some opinions about them them being trash now, but I, I just don't know that I agree with that. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not sure. Well, I've been playing a five ship like salad list this scum, uh, Fen Rao yeah. and. Uh, What's the other one that's four points now? Um, Joy with Mando oh, yeah, Optics yeah. and Ion Torps, like super good. And if you lose Joy, it's like, ah, whatever. It's really not. It's just yeah. Fen Rao. You just want to keep around for a bit. I've started trying to get reps in with uh, Fen Rao, Old Tarek, uh, Bosk, Z95, Dirge, and Lee Mikai list. And yeah. uh, it feels pretty good. Like, obviously, Fangs can pop, but they actively punish you for trying to get into range yeah. one of them. So yeah. I, oh, I and Fen Rao, like yeah, has all that information at I six. I'm still putting shield upgrade on Fen. I don't know about you, but I just really like that. A little bit of insurance that helps yeah. a bit. I've been going full Mando loadout because I don't know. They all seem like pretty good. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I'll take, Le uh, Lima's really solid. The plasma torp at three points. Like honestly, yeah. just have Lima riding the, the board edge, and mm -hmm. you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you go all in on a three point Y wing, whatever. If you don't as you probably yeah. shouldn't she just he's off she just gets the double modded uh shots with the plasmas it's pretty good well and she can she can beat most other like two or three pointers in, in the game in most circumstances she's i5 she's got a shield right. stripping munition she's got good arc coverage i mean she's she's a very good yeah piece. with the dorsal yeah i agree i mean i was playing lima kai a lot with sarah sue and gamut and boba and i that was a good list like it was solid and now you can still do Sarasu Lima, but for only seven points now, and they both have torpedoes. Yeah. So. Well, in being able to, to track Lima up the board edge, it's like, okay, you either have to just have a ship doing nothing other than like staring down Lima Kai, well, or you get Lima Kai. Right, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, Greg, they, the questions, they none of the questions that were written were ever were changed. So they were like we had full control over the questions in that sense. Like they didn't care. Like and there's some questions out there that I mean, who knows what their responses are going to be. But like talking about um, like extended events, talking about full standardized play game modes, stuff like that. Like those are included in the questions. So unfortunately, the bureaucracy of 
uh, having to report to Disney and the PR side of things, there's literally like no circumstance where we could do a I'm also I'm glad that it's not live. I wanted it to be live at first, but I'm like, you know what? The chat would be just so frustrating to deal with. Um, I would have to ask a lot out of the mods like Catherine and Desi and whoever else would be around if they were if they even were. And yeah, a lot easier to just do it this way. So Nick, blink twice if you're in danger. <laughs> All right. No, oh, I'm good. I'm good for now. It's it would be I'm, I'm in danger for different circumstances. My my Cubs fandom is is in danger right now. Oof. Been real bad. Worst team in the National League over like the span of three days. They became that got that title. So uh, anyways, back to X-Wing, a more exciting sport. Uh, this is Von Reg shot here. Ooh, oh, no. no. That's, yeah, that's going to be some strain tokens. We're rerolling All everything. Yeah, much better. Uh, I do appreciate how liberally Crispy uses the uh, the ability with this ship. He just doesn't care. And and it's only it doesn't stack, and that's why you really don't know if you care as much. Oh yeah, for sure. It's not like if it stacks, you'd be like, I'm done. Yeah, right. He's like, well, I'd rather be permanently strained than take damage, so I'm just gonna be permanently strained here. All right, no damage there, but here is the uh, another Four tractor V2. shot. 4v2 into blackout and that's a whole lot of paint again yeah that'll and that that'll will seal it. that'll seal it for blackout so sun pack and minimum trades five points is five points so crispy up eight to one right now i mean i think sun pack is almost definitely dead but if not this turn the next but yeah but, but you take that if you were looking at potentially no well, yeah, you're already up by uh, when you're already up three to one on scenario yeah. points. You can give that up. Oh, that's true. And he's getting another three this turn. Unless Sunpack dies this turn. Yeah, it looks like it might be two to two. No, three to two. Oh, yeah. So Von Reg would get. I guess if Sunpack yeah. dies, it would be two to two. Yeah. Um, what What other one is? What other one is? Uh, uh, Michael again. Say that again. I see Sorry. the one Von Reg. So I see um, Separatist spawn side going to uh, to Crisp. I see Center going to Crispy. I yeah. see a contest. It's just, it's just the top yeah, right that. that is up in the air right now. I think with this on facts. Health. Yeah. The, just, like best case scenario is is one objective point for first order. Mm hmm. Sun fact, does he have any tokens right now? Uh, he does roll the two of aids though, and he's fine. Oh man. And now he's going to get away. Uh, most did, likely. He, did he take the eye on? Uh, I don't see. There it is. Well, okay. can't get away this turn, but f now you have yeah. to focus on getting him again. Von Ray could do it. Yeah, Von Ray can do it. But he has to do the bank left. Yeah. Quick draw can turn in to, to seal it. Hello, Levo. Uh, and Dirch not doing any damage to, to Wylo. Now we have another shot into Wylo, range three, from DIS. Uh, and outmaneuvered. Oof. I love that it doesn't even say if you're not depleted, if you're not straight, it's just like, just, just keep yeah. taking them. And it works yeah. out again. So good. So that is two hits and a crit. Oh, man. Wylo, it's taking those shields. Yeah, it's funny how much things can swing in a single round. I was feeling really not great for Separatists, like, literally last round. And now I'm like, well, yeah. That's one thing I've learned about this game is that you really have to have a ma a big margin for you to feel comfortable. Yeah. I lost a Sith Taker game uh, earlier this weekend because I had lost track of like a lose condition essentially. Oh, I got yeah. tunnel visioned in on like killing a Y wing with Kylo, and I, I had a couple of bad rolls, which which just happens, and then the game was just over. 
like if the game had gone on two more rounds, it was it was unwinnable for him. But it didn't go on two more rounds that I lost sight of. Like if Kylo gets turned in on here and rolls like two paint below average, I just lose. Yeah. Like if, yeah, you can't get too comfortable. No, you can't. You have to be. And I think that's why it, this game has gotten just mentally exhausting for like tournaments. Like after playing two or three rounds of Swiss, I'm like just fried. Oh, yeah. Because I just you're just hyper focused on your win condition, the what ifs, the hypotheticals, the, you know, your strategy with objectives or well, your opponent's strategy with objectives is going to be their win condition. Your lose condition could be different than their like. It, it's just like a lot to constantly yeah. be uh, thinking about. It's impressive what people are able to win all the time uh as people do at tournaments it's just not easy yeah speaking of uh crispy here <laughs> yeah one of the best yeah uh do i have real three one two dice like this i wish no and they would totally be illegal so that's why i like wouldn't bother having them custom made you don't want to know how much money it costs to make those scenario dice i made a bunch of them it was absolutely worth it but oh my god was it expensive so custom dice are not uh cheap to make I don't have a 3D printer. I'm sure I could try, but it's not the same, you know? <laughs> I'm good. So, more feels bad stuff in the game. I think that's that's interesting to think about because I think it's probably probably true. Um, yeah, so I'm curious, like, if you want to give me certain examples there, Ernie, like, what you mean in your eyes of feels bad. I mean, there are, like... Sorry, go ahead, Ben. I was just going to say, I, I've, I've played um, way too many games of StarCraft in my life, and StarCraft has um, two games, essentially. StarCraft Brood War, which uh, I think released in 1998 and has had kind of minimal patching since then, and StarCraft 2. And StarCraft 2 felt a lot more like X-Wing 2.0 in the sense that it had active development to try to make sure everything was balanced, tweak things that were a little bit uh, off, you know, take care of things that could be like a negative play experience. And then you have StarCraft Brood War, which is still really big in Korea. And um, has a very high mechanical ceiling and every single, like all three races, uh, you know, your, your bugs, your people and your high tech aliens are completely broken, right? Every single one of them has complete nonsense that they can deploy. But it's hard to deploy it, and because they all have broken stuff, it somehow ends up working. Like, it's it's a game that has seen some imbalances over the course of the two and a half decades that, it, that it's been in action. But, like, generally speaking, there have been, like, community efforts to make, like, maps fair. And besides that, it's just very good players trying to deploy their broken stuff against other good players deploying broken stuff, and it just somehow works. And 2.5 feels to me like more of that path that they've been going for, where they just want to give each faction at least one thing that's completely <laughs> bonkers, right? <laughs> yeah. Boba Kanan, Darth Vader or anything, like... Oh, what Falcon, would you say, like, maybe? Rebels? Yeah, I guess, like, Double Falcon. But, like, Pretty scenarios, easy, yeah. it's just so bad for... Yeah, it's just so bad for objectives, though. Like, outside of Assault and, like, maybe Chance. I mean, sure, that's half of it, but if you lose half of your scenario games, you don't win, so it all matters. I also think that that keeps people honest with certain, like, beefy, dumb things like yeah. triple VCX and double... I tried double Falcons. I've only played a game with it, and I was like, ah, that's cool, but I can't imagine playing salvage with this. Just yeah. constantly have crates knocked off, and yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, if you're gonna... If you're gonna play oh, that kind of, clips the debris. Uh -oh. If you're going to go that kind of route with it, you have to have a list that's designed to just knock off the opponent's salvage crates and you just turn it into a deathmatch. Like, that's the only real way to... Ooh, it takes the damage, too. Volan's on one. I mean, you have... Uh, Michael has two ships there out there that are begging for a, a final shot into him. This Volan's yeah. down to one hull, I believe. I think Ooh. that's three damage cards. Does Volan have only yeah. two damage cards? Dirge with a nifty move. Oh, Volan Not might be on here. two hole right Country now. Man. I don't know why I had him at two hole before. Oh, he's double stressing to get that bullseye. <laughs> Let me double check Volan Doss. Yeah, just still got two left. Oh wait, no, they are on. They are three hole ships. I don't know why. Is Volan doesn't have four hole, does he? No, he no, is on one hole. Yeah, one cool. Two hole, not three hole. Yeah. This is called. Sorry, guys. I used to play test those things, and they had four hole, and I still can't shake it. So <laughs> that was a fun time. <laughs> Let me 
here comes von reg all of a sudden yeah target priority you really like to get sunfac out of there so you take the strain to grab the lock yeah oh uh, you're gonna get the shot in the sunfac yeah so he is gonna i was gonna get a shot yeah because i think you're thinking you can uh, finish volan off oh yeah next turn. Yeah, and Quick Draw will have a shot at Volin, even though it's obstructed. It still could be, you know, enough. Wylo will have an opportunity. So that oh. will be, looks like probably a range two shot exchange from the two of them there. Yeah. I know this is tautological at this point, but oh my gosh, Crispy's so good. I just realized the stop maneuver with Repulsor Lift. I, I just assumed he'd have to go over the debris, but that was nifty with the HMP. Mm -hmm. uh, so here we go. This is... The shot into Sunfac. You spend the lock. You really need three. There you go. Spend the focus. That's three hits. Sunfac doesn't roll all the paint this time. No tra tractor chip for a reroll. Uh, but only takes one. Still so kicking. he's still around. He's still yeah, still kicking. Yeah, Kyle could whip it. He has an instinctive aim opportunity. I think right. You got to do it. But first, quick draw. Range three obstructed into a one hole Volan Das. And there's oh. more paint there. Spend, make it three. Five dice for Volan. And not and he doesn't get enough it. evades at all. So that's four points. Clawing back a little bit here is Michael. Getting him up to six. Eleven to six now. You have a five-point ship out there that would fully close the gap. And uh, initiative killed as well. But first, the other I6. Sun Fac. Range two and two of Von Reg. For Natties. Seems good. Von Reg is strained oh, and is taking it all. And we did not see him regen, right? So he's down to. No, he, but he did. He did. Okay, cool. So he's. Yeah, and he, uh, he blew both charges. He, was he going for the, the Lone Wolf? Did he, did he get anything out of it? I didn't. Wasn't looking. No. Roll, so two rolled, post shields. Uh, yeah, I got the eyeball. What was the list chaos part? It was that. This is, I mean, it's pretty chaotic, is it not? Anything, any, let's cast as anything goes usually, but I didn't tell them what to build because it was kind of a last minute thing to get these guys to play. Tecumseh, thank you for the sub, dude. Appreciate it, man. Welcome. And that is just enough. So Sunfact does go down at the hands of Wylo. That ties the game 11 to 11. We've got ourselves quite a ball game here. As Dirge has that bullseye range one shot on the Wylo. He's already taken a couple damage shields are down. Only gets two. Only two. Uh, defense dice, I mean, sorry. I probably should have been more specific there. But still. <laughs> oh, only. no. Oh, boy. Hit crit. Could this be it? If, a, if it is a direct, it is a console fire. Also not something he wants. No. Certainly not. Now, do you do you even take the shot with the uh, the HMP here into quick draw, or you just say, nah, that's that's not worth flinking off a single damage? <sighs> I probably I I don't I don't think it's worth it. Like, I feel like at this point you almost just want to make sure that you do not give quick draw any more chances to blow up your stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there is an evade out there. You're strained, though, DIS, so there's still a chance, yeah, you could take some damage. But we're... I think we're going for it, yeah. Yeah. With that lock, the... Uh, I can't remember. It's not it's not called Fire Convergence. It's something similar. All right, similar. so all three go in. So he gets the shot, but it's fanatical, and he can always do Terry and Power Cell it again. Which is the really nice part about regen quick draw. It's now a 3v2 with a passive mod. So. Oh, well, just one. This, I feel like this is what happens when we draw a lot, is that it's all or nothing with those bonus attacks, and the evade saves DIS yeah. from taking any damage. And clears another strain there as well. So, du only double strained. Contested there. Crispy just hanging on to that point on the left side. So, 13 to 13. Man. What a game. 
again, like, you know, Michael was down at one point eleven to two and you tune in and you're like, Oh, this game's over. So not yeah. not not with the way the game is these days. Yeah. So a couple of things here. Dirge is not really able to to reposition and line anything up. Kylo needs to fix console fire, which means he can't reposition or like focus jam. Unless he decides to just get risky with it. Hondo will not be in play, I don't think, right? Because they wait, no, the HMPs don't have to increase difficulty to do their their nonsense, right? Uh no, they don't. I All right, take so. a look at Yeah, we're both He's reading it too. After reveal a bank or turn maneuver, you must perform that maneuver as a side slip. Yeah. So you perform it as indicated in terms of difficulty on the dial. All right. So Roombas do have the um, the blues, the the blue hards. So he could side slip. Just keep pivoting around this debris. I am. I'm kind of in love with his HMP setup here. Like he's been able to just sort of dance around. Like he can repulsor lift. Do the side slip, do another stop, and just keep pivoting around that. Yeah, uh, great objective, three-point objective holder for sure. Just yeah, and a Hondo lot of flexibility. Oh yeah, and Hondo yeah. too. Come on, keeps them relevant. Yeah, going around the debris forever, probably. <laughs> yeah, it gets a it gets a freebie lock just for attacking. Seems good. Yeah, so heading into round five here, uh, and I would be surprised if this game got down to like 10 minutes or less, just in terms of the rate of objective taking. Yeah. Yeah, if Kylo dies, it's game over. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess the good news for Michael is like Dirge is your biggest, is your biggest like immediate threat and is double stressed. So can you yeah. get away, get out of there? the the tilt of kylo here is a little concerning i you know? agree yeah because i don't know if you can really easily clear a bank through the debris and rock there three hard just barely uh, sorry three bank left just barely clears i think i constantly think three bank lefts are going to go farther to the like three banks are going to go farther to the outside than they do and yeah. based on that I'm, I, <laughs> I think it just barely fits but i Let's also see, think with yeah. the dirge yeah, three bank uh, definitely bank. is good, but I don't know if he can like reposition out of there once he fully executes. Well, he's got to fix console fire as a thing. That's true. He has console fire, yeah. Like if you're dirge and you just do like a, a two, well, yeah, you don't even care about the self bump damage at this point. If you just do like a two bank left to try to like line up that bullseye with a, with a Kylo three bank bailout, you're getting the proton cannon shot off. I don't know. Well, we'll see what they just, what, yeah. what they decided. The board uh, state stuff is always so fun because, like, what I'm thinking, what the other person's thinking is often completely different. <laughs> that's, that's what, what yeah, that's what I, I get so excited. I'm like, you could do this, you could do this, and then, like, they think of something way smarter and better than what I was thinking of. And I'm like, okay, well, that too, that also works. That's what keeps X Wing uh, interesting to me is that there's just so many different things you can do combinations of maneuvers and actions and. And then add random order, player order to that. And yeah, that's not going to get you very far. Um, they're just right there. Oh, yeah. So Dirge did end, end up doing the uh, the straight, but you know, that, that kind of gives him the shot no matter what. It doesn't let. Uh, yeah, like and is, is he not fixing it, console fire? He's going to just I take an evade. Not, oh, I guess it's like a three eighth chance. I don't I don't know, because you're taking an unmodded two versus three if you fix the console fire with force or defense. I don't know. Oh, no, uh, fix console fire instead. Yeah. I think, yeah, I might have missed it or forgot about it for a second. Oh, was that a side slip barrel roll? Oh, also a great move of the HMP, man. Master class of HMP shenanigans here from crispy oh, tonight honestly i'm super impressed i i hope i never run up against crispy in like an actual event where he's using hmps because <laughs> i'm not going to be able to predict what he's going to do yeah it says he's one of the best gonna... players in the draft league i'm sure you guys would have a good game yeah we've had a bunch he uh he's kicked my ass a few times i've i 
I've won in setup a couple of times, if that makes sense. But like yeah. in protracted games, it usually gets me. There have been a couple of times where like I was able to sort of get a setup advantage, um, just do the order of like, list going down, and, like, a, like, a favorable position in the opening engage, and that was because there's flying tri fighter so that was kind of it yeah setting the tone early <laughs> like <laughs> be enough but any any extended game it's it's been a it's been a struggle just one crit and the dirge and dirge rolls enough there yeah quick draw into uh dis who hasn't taken any damage he's been rolling out of re-rolling and rolling out of everything so far little fire control system for the blank and the blank and yeah i don't know that you're putting any real effort into uh killing dirge at this point I, it's just not a particularly accessible target no and the cis for, for, yes dis you get four points there and then you're just trying to scrape out your, your three points with objectives without uh without losing von ranger kato or I guess quick draw at this point. All right, here is Dirge. Two on two and two. This has to be into Wyla, right? Did he ping quick draw? Oh, yeah, yeah, he went after quick draw. Hmm. Okay. I, I guess it makes sense to try to blow the shot when you've got a range three. Oh, he's fanatical. He didn't need to do that. That's right. <laughs> Takes all the tokens to re-roll. Yep. Had already spent the evade earlier. And oh, it's no. just, just been so good, man. Nails every time when he re-rolls. Yeah. Uh, quick draw took another damage, right? No? Okay. No. Yeah, so just shieldless. Yeah, I don't know. You're, you're nursing every single ship at this point. As FO. Yeah. Yeah, TikTok on the objective clock here as well. Yeah, it's, it's looking good for Crispy. But... It's but like it might be two to one here. Down, that could just be it. True, that's, that's a big that's if, because this thing. node hasn't taken any damage, and it does feel like DIS has like a built-in hull or shield upgrade with the re-rolls, just with yeah. anecdotally. But yeah, well, like right. a, a Von Reg three bank in, assuming it clears the rock, like with, with a quick draw shot, like there's almost kind of... Like, that's the thing with the tries, they can just die. Oh yeah, in three all are like Tie Fighters, but just feel like not like Tie Fighters. But yeah, yeah. I think obviously I, I am not playing this game, but like if I if I were a quick draw here, I'd probably be doing the three sloop to catch the um, the three hard end and block attempt from uh, from quick draw. And the only thing that doesn't catch is if DIS just does a, a straight maneuver bailout. Yeah, which is riskier for DIS as well because that takes them out of the objective fray. I was gonna say I'm looking for how Michael can. I mean, Crispy just has um, is just in a much better position for keeping a couple points than Michael is right now. Don't know if well, Kylo can find a way to get near that top right one, going straight and barrel rolling. Maybe I'm not sure. Well, Kylo does have uh, pattern analyzer, so yeah. you can sort of play it for two turns from now. If you do the 5K, or is it 5K? 4K? I don't remember which. And then you can just like have a great dial, yeah. Pretty open. Undo it and just end up exactly where you are right now the next turn. So you miss out on an objective for a round. Oh, and yeah. Von Reg has Daredevil. So if you, you can just like five straight lock Daredevil with Von Reg and, and clear any reasonable threat. Yeah. Three sloop with quick draw. You've got proud tradition, so you can get your defensive bond there. Yeah, you want to at least contest the top left point. Um, the center point, I'm not sure what you can really do much about that getting that yeah, point you just give that up to dirge the hmp is i think is able to not able to slice this is engaging turn. at this point yeah yeah so not going to be able to 
stop. Oh, they're they're wait, wild. one straight. Yeah, they can go slow enough to keep the point still. <laughs> he has a one straight. He's right. He <laughs> yeah. Yeah, still he's... contests. Still has 180 degree arc coverage. Yeah, I think honestly he's, he's gotten probably the most value out of, of, of any ship in his list. It's probably uh, you, are, you could argue easily make that argument for DIS with the rerolls, but the value oh, yeah. of the three point objective getting is definitely I think exceeded the at least probably doubled the value in terms of objective points that DI uh, that DGS has gotten. So yeah, uh, yeah. So fifteen to fourteen, entering round six here with plenty of time left, about twenty six minutes. But objective clock is ticking, as Ben said. And that's who is with me right now, if you're wondering. I feel like you can recognize his voice. Nectar of the Gods, but Jammin is here. We have a NCX, a, a, I'd say it's an exhibition game now because uh, it was NJO versus Punishers, but that series has been decided. I believe was it Punishers that won that series, or I can't, do you know? <laughs> Might have to check the league. <laughs> But uh, Desi and uh, JB will be playing uh, after this. So one more game of X-Wing. The Punisher's one. Got it. All right, here we go. First player has been decided. Yeah, definitely going to be within range one again. Take that calculate. And that definitely will block a sloop. No, the the sloop right is what I was thinking for quick. Oh uh, well, here yeah. That would be pretty good. Um yeah, way, that's that's the only good. move that makes sense for Crispy to do, to turn in and go for the uh, the slow block. This the three sloop catches that, catches the objective, and doesn't put yeah. you in any threat from dirge and gets you distance on the HMP. Yeah. There's the five K tradition you can uh, yeah. Take any evade. Makes sense. Yeah, so it'll be five straight next turn unless Dirge can do yeah, and Dirge can't do anything about it. So Ooh, is Dirge close enough to either point? Yeah, he's looks got, like the um, center. He's got center. And so Oh, alright. That works too. I too like that last just because of the um the proximity to the HMP, but he's still gonna get the, um, he's still gonna get a good shot off. A little focus. I do that all the time. Focus, rotate, white linked actions. I constantly show arcs when I'm trying to, uh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, nice. The only thing is he <sighs> needs to DIS, DIS right? I, right, I was gonna say like, don't, Dirge is a trap. Yeah, there is the lock on DIS and you do the Daredevil. Yeah. Boost. DIS is going to get a very, very good shot off on the Von Reich here. If, unless DIS dies. Like, DIS needs to die here. Yeah, Von Reich has a uh, lone wolf charge he can't use and has taken his shield, so he's got two hole, and that's it. Von Reich first. Range yeah. two. Single modded has that target lock out there. So here we go. Big shot. Reroll four Ooh. hit hit crit very nice a crit will go through and of oh, course the, the rolls impression. the anatty evades and it is a wounded pilot doesn't matter you wanted like a weapons failure or structural damage something and here's quick draw at the back another crit in there fanatical fanatical does he remember does he remember does he remember is he gonna reroll Ooh, there. Ooh, he's re-rolling. He has fanatical. He's spending the focus. Oh, Man. no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, a blank yeah, out, but you it. do your re-roll oh. thing. Strains. Take the strain. Re-roll. You have a calculate. That's all you have. Goes down. And goes down. What a gamble. It works out. DIS getting away with a lot of them re-rolls, but takes two, and that is four points as it gets Michael up to 18. And initiative killed as well. 18-15. Yeah. First order that was with the a, lead. It was a risky dirge dive positionally. Like I, I, I totally get why he did it. Yeah. But I think that that ends the game. Uh, you hope nothing horrific happens to, to quick here. to quick draw. Yeah, that's that's the thing. But you got to go for Von right here to try to get the kill. 
Is, is, it, is it on ring? It looked like it's into, I think because there's locks. Yeah, it's into quick draw. Yeah, oh, that's, certainly that's not going to do it. Yeah, that will be. Oh, still taking. Oh, because it almost. I didn't realize Quick Draw had already taken the damage. Yeah, me too. I, I, didn't, still I didn't see Quick Draw take that first one. So, but barely alive. Yeah. So crispy does get two. So it does, but yeah, you get up to 20. twenty, and that's still game, just enough. Great game though, twenty to seventeen. Pay out the bets really quick and just thank them for playing. As let's see, right side is the winner. Okay, just thank him real quick. Um, but. Thanks, guys. That was a I very entertaining game. Yep. You forgot you're fanatical, but you, you spent your focus. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. I was just telling that. that that probably should have lost me the game. <laughs> I just like, forgot fanatical at the end. Yeah. yeah. No, there were so many 50-50s. I was trying to figure out whether Dirge needed to one hard there to cover. If the block didn't, I, I, I thought I, the thing was, is that the th my, my red, my, sorry, my blue hard turns to clear the stress on TD1. The most preferential one was the one hard, and then I boost in, and I think that covered off all the blocks. Um, uh, like a one hard boost straight, but I couldn't do that because I was stressed, so I had the two hard, and then it was either I leave it there, if he does the one bank, I automatically die because he gets the f uh, four die double modded. Um, or if he tries to go over, it's a worst shot but i have a chance to kill with 047 oh they're yeah i don't I, I i just went back and forth with too many 50 50s well and it, it just came down to like i mean i don't know if i'd rather honestly i'd rather play games where it just like comes down to you have multiple choice decisions and if you take one over the other you'd rather be in situations where it's 50 50 and not you just making a terrible mistake where you went after one ship when you should have gone after i don't think you really made any errors in that way but i mean it was dis you got yeah, a lot of value I mean, out of dgs and dis the rerolls were money for pretty much you know the, until mathematically yeah. it wasn't on your side at the end there but uh yeah i mean i tossed a volan i think that was like my biggest thing like yeah, that was literally debris, just yeah and, and i had the block lined up uh, on kylo and i'm like oh like i two bank in that is that's the focus uh predator shot as well and i finished kylo right then and there um and i i thought i had it uh, the bank, but nope. Yeah.